Hi, uh, good afternoon, everyone. This is Ganesh Padala. And uh, as I have been uh, working on WM for last one to two years on continuous projects, I get an idea that uh, let's make some WM entry questions which will be useful for uh, for my YouTube subscribers and anyone who visit my YouTube channel. Let's start today. I'm coming with uh, one in one question. Uh, generally, these entry questions, it, it won't be like uh, the question and answer. At least one question I will cover in uh, one video and I will try to show in SAP and I will give some explanation about the business background. I hope it will be helpful to understand the context and also uh, it will be useful when you face any tickets in your project or uh, any requirement. Okay, let's go to the, the first question, which we are starting SAP WM interview questions. Okay, I'm going with an understanding that uh, the audience who are checking the videos, they are aware about the certain terms of uh, warehouse management. Okay, we cannot go into that uh, level of discussion. I can, I will try to cover in some other uh, overview of WM or any kind of videos. So the question is like, how to confirm put away transfer order on RF device in SAP warehouse management? Okay, the put away, the word, the put away we use in uh, WM for the receiving process, whenever you receive the materials against inbound delivery or against any, uh, inbound uh, related transfer posting any kind of receiving the material is receiving to our warehouse at that point of time if you create a transfer order we generally call it as a put away transfer order because that transfer order confirmation will increase the stock in the warehouse management we are receiving the stock so that we use the put away for example if you are creating a transfer order against an outbound delivery or uh, against any kind of uh, removal means sending out of our warehouse then we call it as a picking transfer order okay that that word i'm just using to understand the audience like uh, transfer order put away transfer order means it's receiving picking transfer order means it's a removal of from the warehouse okay that's it the overall it's a transfer order how to confirm put away transfer order on rf device in sap warehouse management See, in warehouse management, we use RF devices where we can scan the material, or we can scan transfer order, or we can scan storage unit, or different kind of parameters, and to confirm the process. Okay. Generally, when you create a transfer order, we confirm with LT12, LT12 on desktop, we can confirm. But when we use the RF device, once the goods are received at the, the loading bay, Okay, where you are doing the receiving bay, we call it as a receiving bay. Once the truck is received, we take that respective document like inbound delivery, we create a transfer order, and then uh, we go to that place and uh, we scan the transfer order and place in the respective bin, which is suggested by the system, and we confirm I have kept the stock in that bin. Okay, the confirmation of transfer order means we are placing the stock in exactly the storage bin suggested by the system and i'm confirming that the put away process is completed once you have confirmed the stock will get increased okay what transaction code in sap we have a lm03 transaction code to confirm the transfer order okay through lf menu if you go you have to add under uh, put away process in inbound Okay, and the prerequisites are first of all uh, the user ID who wants to do the confirmation that should be active for the respective warehouse. And then we need to perform the receiving process, the receiving confirmation. Okay, just I want to highlight one point in SA, as per SAP standard, one user ID can be active only for one warehouse at a time. You cannot activate for multiple warehouse numbers. Okay. Let's see in the system to get better clarity on that. We'll go with um, LRFMD or else we can go with either LRFMD directly you can navigate it or else we can go with SPRO path, okay? As it's kind of uh, end user T code or um, the super user who wants to access 
the managing of ids okay this can be accessed directly in production system or any system so that we generally don't use much the spr path okay we use mainly lrfmd transaction code okay if you see this area where we define the menu management and the queue management all the details okay you can see here where we decide the menu okay according to this menu details and all we will see the the information which are the users assigned okay okay this is the transaction code uh, which i mentioned we can use this transaction code or else the lrfmd directly we can use it okay for example gk1 sap ext 16 is my id see this is activated for the this transaction code this warehouse my user id is active as i told you it won't allow for another right let me activate for other user id and we'll see what kind of error will come okay see the user is already active in another warehouse number so that you cannot activate it so you can activate only one warehouse at a time that's what i want to convey the message okay let's see this um, our user id is active for gk1 warehouse in the queue management also you can directly lrfmd you can directly access with this also okay first we check p next is 16 okay like this we can check or else uh, we know the method it's through table also we can check that if you don't know the table you just click on f1 lrf underscore wk q okay now what we do uh, for example you want to know which warehouse is activated for your user id then go to sc16n and give the table okay give your ext 16 and execute it okay your user id might be assigned to multiple user multiple warehouses as it's a test system in production we maintain one user one warehouse and we activate the status okay we need to take the the status which is active okay gk1 is active so we will take any one open transfer order and i will show you how to confirm with rf transaction okay now i can navigate you in a sap look with lm01 transaction code and if you use the rf device the same screens will be visible in the rf device where you can access with the the device rf device okay i hope you have aware about how rf devices work okay we can see that the different rf devices in the market okay let i can show you in google also like um, zebra and panasonic intermac there are many uh, intermac zebra were mostly popular and different different brands are available in the market i used like uh, zebra and uh, point mobile panasonic we have used the different devices in our projects okay let me take any one transfer order t code lt22 and gk1 and i uh, will take 902 as a source okay you can take any 9 series as a source because then only that will be considered as a receiving transfer order okay we'll choose this to okay 522 see from uh, source interim storage type and the destination it's a receiving to let's use this to for our checking okay 
see the transfer order is in open you can see the red color here the destination data okay let's go with rf menu lm 01 is the transaction code if you don't maintain lrfmd transaction code you will get a message like your user id is not active the profile is not active error message okay. go to inbound go to put away this all you design in the menu management put away by transfer order you have a transfer order and you want to scan transfer order see according to the design we can scan a transfer order you can scan a pallet id or anything we can scan according to our design okay now i'm explaining the scanning of transfer order to do the put away transformation put away transfer confirmation if you see here the transaction code is lm03 you can directly navigate lm03 also but when you use rf we go with the menu right so that i have shown the the menu path let's take our to 522 522 is the transfer order see according to the what you need to imagine is once the goods are received we generate the transfer order and take the printout the printout will contain the transfer order number with barcode so that the rf device the person who has gone there he will go to the menu and once this transfer order field has come he will scan the transfer order and click on next once click on next button you can see that what is the source bin source is inter interim and the material quantity material description all the details we can see here now click on save see once you click on save you can see this the button which is selected the material is selected now click on next button okay here what is the destination bin where you are keeping keeping that uh, where you supposed to keep that material of 10 kg you have seen the destination bin the warehouse the forklift operator will go to that bin and keep that materials of 10 kg the bin 030805 and confirm again you click on save so the transfer order is confirmed you can check the details lt 21 see the transfer order has become green earlier it was red color now it became green you can see the stock also according to the bin you can check slash n ls 25 zero zero one and the bin click on enter this transaction code we use to see the stock available for the respective bin see this is the 10 kg which we confirmed just now okay when it was confirmed what is the t1 number and what is the gr number all the details we can see here okay this is about the transfer order confirmation for the receiving to uh, whenever you if you go with the transfer order scanning and confirmation this is the transaction code we use the same activity will happen on the rf device okay i hope uh, this session is helpful for you thanks for your time keep watching have a good day